We have a, a real issue of jaywalking and people trying to cross the street at uh, in the middle of the block and trying to run across in, fr in front of traffic. There's businesses on both sides of the streets where people want to come to, and the crosswalks are down the block and up the block, but people are being too impatient. They're trying to cross the street in the middle of the block. So we have some very dangerous situations occurring. This area is the ideal case study for how the city implements the three E's, which stands for education, engineering, and enforcement. It involves multiple departments all working towards the same goal, to increase pedestrian safety in the city. As we were conducting the interview, we saw many people jaywalking, and one situation caught Chief Treshek's attention. She got off the bus at a, at a uh, bus stop, and uh, she's an elderly woman. And instead of walking up the street to the signalized crosswalk, she tried to walk across the street, got stuck in the middle. And in the time that it took her to get all the way across the street, she could have easily have walked up to the crosswalk, got across the street nice and safe and gotten to where she wanted to go. As it was, she put herself and the motorist in danger. As Chief Treshek mentioned, this stretch of 355 is a hot spot for jaywalking in the city. But with consistent enforcement and engineering improvements, this area on Rockville Pike is becoming much safer for pedestrians. Because 355 is a state road, the city does not have jurisdiction to make any changes. But by working with WMATA, Rockville has succeeded in eliminating a dangerous situation. So specifically here at the bus stop we're standing at, uh, we had to coordinate with Montgomery County Ride On and WMATA Metro Bus to actually relocate the bus stop about 350 feet north of where we're standing to the signalized Fred Avenue crosswalk. There's a supermarket behind me, a number of commercial establishments here at the shopping center, and uh, it's just a place that people want to be, and when they're in one location and they like to be across the street in the next, uh, you know, it it's, creates basically a desire line between the two locations, and that's why we have the jaywalking problem. This map provided by Rockville's Department of Public Works shows in red how the commercial areas generate the most foot traffic. The solid yellow circle illustrates jaywalkers on 355. The dotted yellow circle is the location of the new bus stop at the crosswalk. The goal is to make this stretch of road safe for pedestrians to cross at the designated crosswalk. Chief Treshek's advice for pedestrians out there on the road? For the pedestrians, it's really use the, uh, the legal and safe means to cross the roadways. It's the law. It works. You can cross in a crosswalk and you're safe and secure and you're not trying to run across a, a, a four or five lane highway to get somewhere. For more information on what the city is doing to keep pedestrians safe, go to rockvillemd.gov and search pedestrian safety.